hi. Uh, it's yeah, Adam from Zero Friction Cycling. So um, just a quick video today to go through uh, 12 speed chain compatibility. Uh, this is something that yeah, just getting more and more questions on these days as uh, yeah, most of the uh, major brands now have gone to 12 speed and um, things aren't as cross compatible with 12 speed as what they were uh, back in sort of the nine, 10, 11 speed days where Things were pretty simple, and uh, you could pretty much mix and match uh, chains across systems really without without any dramas. Um, so, just going to go, I guess, back to the beginning a little bit. So, uh, yeah, in the olden days, so five speed through to eight speed chains were known as what's called a three thirty two chain, and what that means is that the internal width between the inner plate links. Um, is three by thirty two of an inch. So uh, that's that's how a chain. Uh, standard is measured is by the width between the inner plate links. And all that happened really as we went from five to six to seven to eight speed is that the thickness of the plates uh, became thinner uh, so that we could fit more, obviously in between more cogs and the pins would become shorter. When things went to nine speed, uh, the standard changed to 11 by one to eight of an inch. So the internal width of the chain is now 11 by one to eight of an inch wide in between those inner plate links as opposed to 332. So <clears throat> you can generally run like a seven or an eight speed chain on a system like swap, no problems at all. Um, but you can't run a nine speed chain on an eight speed system or vice versa, because that was the point where they swapped standards from 332 to 11 by one to eight. Uh, now SRAM Eagle, uh, sorry, SRAM was the first really to come out uh, with 12 speed um, uh, with their Eagle chains for mountain bike. And the Eagle 12 speed chain uh, kept the 11 by one to eight standard. It just again became externally a bit thinner by yet again thinner uh, plates and shorter pin. Uh, so but you could, if you wanted to, you could run an Eagle chain on an 11 speed uh, system. Um, it will run on the rings and cogs, no problems whatsoever. You just might get lazy shifting um, because there's a bigger gap between the, you know, obviously the side of the chain and the next cog. Um, and then Campy Record came out with 12 speed uh, road or Campy Nile I should say, uh, 12 speed road. And that is also an 11 by 128 chain. And uh, so you can run a Campy 12 on your SRAM Eagle, you can run a SRAM Eagle on your Campy 12, no problems. Um, the only thing to be aware of with Campy on uh, SRAM Eagle is that uh, the Campy chains are a lot shorter because they're not made for uh, mountain bike, um, which bigger derailers and big cogs. Uh, YBN came out with a 12 speed chain, uh, also 11 by 128 standard. So you can run that on Eagle. You can run that on um, Campy, uh, absolutely no issues. KMC also have a 12 speed chain. Uh, it's a fast chain, um, but it, it um, I don't stock the KMC one because it just wears uh, really, really quickly in the, in the testing that we've done. Uh, and I mean really, really quickly. So that's why I don't stock that one. Uh, so then SRAM came out with Axis Road um, for, sorry, Axis um, for their uh, road uh, group sets, which was 12 speed. Now, this is where things get fun in that um, Axis Road is a completely different standard. So uh, it is a thinner chain. Um, it hasn't actually got a standard name and I haven't bothered calculating what it is uh, in uh, fractions of an inch, but the um, distance between the inner plate links is a thinner standard than your 11 by 128 chains. And it also has oversized rollers. So instead of the normal 7.7 .7 mil diameter roller, they've gone to a 7.9 mil. And so the chain ring teeth profile and the cassette tooth profile are made to match that, um, both that thinner chain and also uh, the much larger roller size. So uh, what would happen if you tried to run uh, any of the other 11 by one to eight standard chains on Axis Road 12 speed, um, it's basically going to be like you're running a chain on a super worn group set. So um, there's a you know risk that it's really going to have trouble fitting in between the cogs very well. But the main danger is that um, because it would be such a I guess a you know like a worn fit, is that if you go to put some you know power down, you could very very easily jump. Uh, at the cassette or off the chain ring. And when people stand up and put power down, if the chain jumps off the chain ring, that can end up with them going over the handlebars and you know having a, a hot date with the ash bolt. So uh, it's really, really that, that system is just not cross compatible at any level 
with the other um, standard chains. Uh, last uh, to the party um, is uh, Shimano with the, uh, they started with the XDR uh, 12 speed for their mountain bike system. Uh, this is also an 11 by 1 to 8 standard chain, but it has a key difference in that, uh, and yeah, a bit difficult to demonstrate on video uh, here at the moment, but in, inside the chain, if you look inside a Shimano XDR 12 chain or you look it up on Google, they've basically extended the inner plate links um, past the roller. Um, and that's part of their Hyperglide Plus shifting system. So by extending the inner plate links past the roller, match with their new special tooth profile for their cassettes and chain rings, that's what gives the XDR12 um, system, uh, or it's part of what's behind it, it's absolutely amazing shifting. And that's something that uh, we've just had the release uh, officially of um, uh, 12 speed for Shimano Road for Durace and Ultegra. And that's uh, keeping that um, Hyperglide Plus system and it really is quite amazing. So um, you can run, because it's a 11 by one to eight chain, you can run your Shimano um, 12 speed chain on SRAM Eagle or on Campagnolo, um, but you need to make sure that the tooth profile is going to be okay with those extended inner plate links that go past the roller. For road uh, chain rings like the Campy Record, um, chains or uh, Campy Chorus uh, chain rings, they're going to be okay because road chain rings have a thin tooth profile anyway. But for SRAM Eagle with a narrow wide tooth profile, um, your XDR12 chain with the longer inner plate links is not going to play with that chain ring. It will try to jump off um, at the earliest opportunity. So um, you can run the XDR12 chain or the XD12 chain on a SRAM Eagle uh, group set but you do need to change the chain ring uh, to be a Shimano um, 12 speed compatible chain ring. At the back end at the cassette, um, things are generally fine or even better than fine. Um, I find on my mountain bikes that the, the XDR chain shifts better on my SRAM Eagle cassettes than my SRAM Eagle chain does because of the, um, the Hyperglide Plus inner plate links. Um, however, there have been reports where some have, have uh, gone down that path where just on the largest cog, uh, where you've got the most extreme chain line angle, that they have been able to sort of hear and feel some rubbing of the inner plate links on the side of the cog just because of that chain line angle. So um, it's hard, you can, we can't really nail down exactly if that may or may not happen for you because chain line angles do vary by, you know, what your frame geometry is, the type of bottom bracket. So how that chain line comes out, even you know things like what size chain ring you're running. So if you're running a 34 tooth versus a 32 tooth, things like that, the, the bigger the cogs and the bigger the ring, the more extreme the chain line angle is in those, those in that largest cog. So um, it's rare, but um, just to, I guess advise, it, it can happen. So um, uh, one of the, I guess, if you're racing in, uh, in mountain bike, um, the SRAM Eagle, is uh, the world's most durable chain by uh, absolutely miles. It is, is the XX1 and X01 um, uh, are just the world's longest lasting uh, chain against wear uh, in the world by miles. But uh, the efficiency test results that I have uh, for them, which are very, very reliable, um, also show that they're really, really, really not a fast chain. So um, if you race, uh, it's great to train on uh, the SRAM Eagle X01 or XX1, um, but uh, can be great to switch out to a much faster chain for racing. So your easiest um, plug and play option is the YBN12. That's a nice fast chain and that works perfectly. Just plug and play with your SRAM Eagle system. Uh, Campy Record, again, uh, like that's a really fast chain um, and that will swap uh, generally perfectly fine plug and play on SRAM Eagle. Uh, it, it does on mine and it has on, on others and all of the chain measures exactly the same. Um, so internal width, external width, rollers. So it's, it's pretty well a match. But take into account that it's only 114 links long and uh, that can be not enough for a number of mountain bikes uh, that take 116 links or 118 links. So if you're thinking about going campy record, um, then just check the length of your chain uh, first. Um, but that's also partly why the YBN12 at 126 links is, is I guess, the most popular 
plug and play go fast chain or race chain for SRAM Eagle ride, uh, riders. Um, if you're riding Campy 12 um, on the road, uh, it's, it's a beautiful chain, uh, super fast. There's no real reason to uh, use or switch to a YBN 12 over the Campy Record 12 chain um, ex unless you want some color in your life. So if you're tired of sort of boring old silver, then the YBN oil slick gold or black, um, they can be pretty popular just to uh, yeah make your bike look a bit a uh, bit more groovy than just silver. Um, if you're on um, Shimano 12 speed for mountain bike and soon to be road, there is absolutely zero case to uh, move away from the Shimano uh, chain. Uh, overall, I think it's it's the best 12 speed chain on the market. The um, Shimano 12 speed chain, I've only uh, durability tested the XDR chain at this stage. I haven't had time to test the XT, but the XDR 12 chain is a lot more durable than the uh, Durace 11 speed chain was. So on the accelerated wear test uh, for chain longevity, the Durace chain uh, hit the wear limit at basically 2,000 kilometers and the XT, uh, XDR chain lasted to uh, 3,500, so it's sort of not too far short of basically double the durability of Durace 11 in terms of its wear. Uh, in real world, you know, riding, um, you're going to get more than that because this was an accelerated wear test that, that I do for chain longevity, so it's, it's pretty harsh stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you're on Shimano um, mountain bike, um, yeah, just stay with Shimano. It's, it's a fast, durable, amazing shifting chain. Uh, and that is soon to be coming to um, Shimano Road. Uh, whenever we can get hold of their group set somewhere between now and uh, 2030, we'll be able to get some tall speed Shimano group sets on our road bikes. Um, and there have been a number of um, reports or you know, customers that have contacted me uh, to advise that they have um, run uh, XT um, or XDR 12 chain on their 11 speed group set um, Shimano bike and it shifts better than their 11 speed Durace chain. So that XDR plus uh, you know, system is really something. So I haven't tested that yet myself, but reports are that a, a number of people are swapping um, their Durace chain for an XDR 12 chain and having a grand old time. Now, uh, a final point, um, uh, just something that, that has come up a couple of times and it's, it's caused a bit of confusion and um, people buying the wrong chain um, is there's a company called Alu Gear which make a 12 speed chain ring um, which they claim is compatible with all of the 12 speed chain systems um, on the market. And um, just, I guess considering the difference between the, the Axis Road standard and our sort of our SRAM Eagle record YBN and so on, uh, 11 by 1 to 8 standard 12 speed chains. Uh, I'm just really not sure how that's possible. Um, I've written to them about that and they claim that the, the tooth profile that they have come up with is compatible with the 11 by 1 to 8 standard uh, 12 speed chains as well as the Axis Road chains, which are, yep, uh, internal link width is thinner, rollers are much bigger. Uh, so um, I, I guess I, I'm, I'm skeptical, but I don't have any proof that their claims are incorrect. Uh, the trouble is the main concern or the thing that, that, that has happened a couple of times is that uh, it has led people to obviously then believe that um, the same compatibility is going to occur on the back end. So uh, they can buy an Alu Gear uh, chain ring which says, hey, I'm compatible with Shimano um, and SRAM, Eagle and um, Axis Road. And so then they buy the chain of their choice within that range uh, for their Axis Road group set, and it's just it's not compatible. So it's sort of led to believe that if it's fine at this end, it's going to be fine at that end, and it's um, just not the case. Uh, so yeah, if you buy that uh, that chain ring, that's apparently compatible with Axis Road and Shimano XTR, um, and then you go to run your XTR chain on your Axis Road cassette, um, you're going to have probably really not a great time because again that cassette is machined to take a chain that is much thinner um, internally and externally and also with oversized rollers. So again, it's gonna be like you're running a chain um, on a really worn group set and it could very, very easily jump under power. So um, I, I did ask them to, um, I guess, put that clarification on uh, their product. So to try to avoid that, um, which they, they, you know, they haven't done no reply back on that. So. Yeah, what it's meant sometimes, unfortunately, is that somebody's bought a 12-speed chain 
um, for say their access road group set and it, it just doesn't play. I do have all of that um, information uh, on my Tall Speak Chain product page to try to avoid people buying, I guess, a chain that's not going to work. And it's really only going to be, um, I guess, the other chains on Access Road just won't play, different standard altogether. The rest are mostly compatible. Just be aware of Shimano XTR, the longer inner plate lengths for the Hyperglide Plus system. You do need to ensure that the chain ring um, is uh, going to be okay with those longer inner plate lengths. Road, it's fine. Narrow wide systems, not fine. You'll need to swap that for the XDR compatible ring. At the back end, should be awesome, possibly better than what you're running at the moment due to the, um, the Hyperglide Plus shifting, but there have been reports of those uh, longer inner plate lengths rubbing on the really big cogs like the 50 or 52 tooth um, with those extreme chain line angles. Uh, so that, that has come up. But that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of master link compatibility, uh, we have covered that off in the waxing, uh, the Epic Waxing FAQ guide. Um, so we go through what master links to use for what. Um, but pretty much if you stay with the master link for your chain, you're going to obviously be uh, fine. So that's the, the quick hint there. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it, a wrap for 12-speed uh, chain compatibility. It is a bit messy, um, but that's pretty much hopefully going to have you on the right chain for your system and for training and for racing and having a good time. Oh yeah, uh, by the way, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel and other YouTube type things like share with your friends. Uh, so that'll keep you up to date with the latest low friction news and hints and tips. And um, yeah, also put any comments down below and I can uh, try to look at those and uh, take them into account for future episodes.